Hey everybody, Steph here. Today we're going to show you a Ancora fountain pen. Now this is the outer outer box, which will pop to one side. And then inside you've got this lovely velvet um, case with the Ancora name and the symbol uh, to the top. And if we open it up, it's got this lovely velvet lined interior. And again, to the back of the case we've got the Ancora name and the symbol. Now there's the pen we can see in the case and within the case what we have is the um, the certificate or yeah the warranty certificate and as it says Ancora 9, 1919 International Warranty Certificate and this pen is the Perla Limited Edition and it tells you about it comes from a lifetime guarantees, uh, manufactured pens, Ancora manufactured pens from 1919. Uh, they did ballpoints, fountain pens, etc. This particular one, it tells it's got ring barrels that are 925 sterling silver and it's got an 18 carat solid gold nib. And then to the bottom, it's this particular pen is, um, well, 150 from 500, and it's in this lovely red colour. And then to the bottom, um, we've got the dealer's stamp. So let's pop that away. As I say, it comes in this lovely case. So what we'll do, let's take the pen out of the case. Let's pop that to one side. And here we have it. What we have here, as I say, is the Ancora, sorry, Ancora Perla fountain pen and a limited edition now I came across this pen on my travels recently um, unfortunately um, it's not actually my cup of tea although some people will think it's a well a lovely pen don't get me wrong the color of this pen is absolutely lovely it's got this this red and it's got these shimmers within the um, within the acrylic or whatever it's actually made of so color wise absolutely gorgeous but it's a large pen and quite a heavy pen the size from the top of the cap to the bottom of the barrel is approximately 138 millimeters capped around the diameter it's quite a hefty 15.4 millimeters in diameter as I say it comes in this sorry it comes in this gorgeous um, red red color again this lovely shimmering and, they, and it comes with these two sterling silver um, rings, if you like. And if we actually show you the rings, you can see it's got this engraved um, engraved pattern, if you like, to the to both rings. And then if I turn it round and try and find it for you over the camera, what you see there as well, um, both rings are actually stamped 925 for for sterling silver and that applies to both rings and I believe the trim to the top is also um, silver as well if we show you the clip to the top there it's got this lovely design clip and then to the top you've got the anchor or the symbol for Ancora and around the the cap the sorry the clip band to the top there you can see it says Ancora and with all Ancora pens they're made in Italy, so you can see to the top there it's got Italia. Okay, so the Ancora pens, as this one, um, made in Italy. Another little thing that we have to the top there, let's keep it nice and still. You can see it's got engraved to the top there, it's got the 150, um, which is this, this particular pen is numbered 150 from, from five, 500. So, all in all, quite a hefty pen, lovely colour, um, quite an oversized fountain pen, if, if, if I can say so myself. I believe they made these pens in a yellow colour, I believe they did them in a grey, a green, um, and quite, an, quite a nice attractive blue as well. But, what we've got here is the red, red version. The cap on this pen unscrews like so so let's show you the pen <coughs> and the cap in different angles as I say not my cup of tea but beautiful colour a beautiful shimmering red colour if we show you the top there just past the silver um, barrel ring there you can see the section tapers slightly and there you can see to the top of the section is the thread 
and then to the top there we've got this the nib on these pens I believe are actually handmade and the nib is actually stamped 1919 and then underneath that it's actually got the anchor symbol again and then underneath 750 followed by 18 carat and then right to the bottom it actually has um, the letter M for medium. Let's show you a sideways view like so and then let's show you underneath Let's show you the feed underneath there. As you can see, nice and clean pen. Whether it's actually been inked or not, I'm not actually quite sure. It doesn't look like it. In absolutely lovely condition. So, a thing about these particular pens, I believe they're actually cartridge converter fountain pens. Unfortunately, um, there's no cartridge or converter that came with this particular pen. But if you was to fit a cartridge or a converter, what you'd simply do is unscrew the section like so which actually unscrews from the barrel and there we have it you've got this lovely metal piece inside there which makes it nice and sturdy you can see the thread there is actually made made of metal so again nice and sturdy and another nice touch on these particular pens I'm hoping you can actually see just inside there it's actually got a rubber gasket so when you actually screw it back on, it actually feels quite sturdy. So at this point, there's a little bit of resistance. And when you screw it on there, you can actually feel some resistance. And it feels as if it's been sealed with this, with this rubber gasket. So um, a nice sturdy pen. So there we have it. As I say, there's no um, ink cartridge or converter with it. But what I'll actually do... Um, actually... I've come a little bit unprepared, I've not took the top off the ink. What we'll actually do, just for you people that like to see the pens writing, we'll actually, we'll dip the pen and let's just see how it works. Okay, let's give it a bit of a dip. So what we've got here is a, an, an Cora, and as we said, this is the Perla. And it's a limited edition of 150 from 500. Now, although it's actually saying on the nib that this is a medium, to me, I would say, well, it's, it's maybe writing a little bit on the fine side. There's actually a little bit of flex as well to the nib. So if we press down, you can see we get quite a broad line. And if we don't press down as much there, you can see there's a little bit of variation in the line. So if we go down like so, so it's, it's actually a quite a little bit of a flexible nib. Okay, so there's a writing sample. As you can see on the downward stroke with a little bit of little bit of pressure, we can get a little bit of variation in the line. But all in all, well, <laughs> all we've just done there is just simply dipped it. So I'm assuming that's how it would write if we actually placed a cartridge or a converter inside it writes very very nice so let's pop the cap back on screw it on only takes a little one or two screws and then the cap is actually on like so so a large pen quite a quite a chunky pen quite a heavy pen a little bit on the blingy side for me with these silver rings here but they are actually well, people do actually collect the Ancora pens. They're, they're quite collectible and they've got quite quite a fan base. But unfortunately, although it's a lovely pen, beautiful colour, not my cup of tea. Okay, so there we have it. The Ancora Perla Limited Edition. Incidentally, I'm not too sure of the date, but I believe it might be sort of circa sort of late 1900s, maybe... 2000, year 2000 or something like that. I don't know too much about these particular pens apart from what I've actually told you already. So there we go again, the Ancora Perla Limited Edition in this red colour. I hope you've enjoyed looking at the pen as much as I've enjoyed showing it to you. Lots of other videos, don't be shy, go and have a look. But for now, I'll just say bye-bye now.